Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to draw angles using a protractor. We will break this down into four simple steps, and we will go through three examples step by step. Let's jump into number one, where we need to draw a 60 degree angle. Now, our first step when drawing angles using a protractor is to draw the first arm of our angle. And all we need to do for this is to use a straight edge to draw a straight line. You can use the straight side of your protractor or even a ruler. I'm going to use my protractor. And all we need to do, again, draw a straight line like this. And I'm going to put a small mark, a small dot on one end here to show where our vertex will be. This can be on either end of the line. Either will work. And that's our first arm of our angle. Next, our second step, we need to line our protractor up. The center point needs to be on the end of the arm where we made the dot, and the baseline needs to be lined up with the arm. So here is our protractor lined up. We have our center point on one end of the arm, so I'm putting it right on that dot I made. Then we need the baseline of the protractor lined up on the arm. So that line at the bottom of the protractor that goes through the center point, the baseline is zero degrees. So line that up on the arm. So now our protractor is lined up and we need to mark the correct measurement. For this example, we need 60 degrees. Now there are two 60 degrees on the protractor. So which one do we use? Well, a 60 degree angle is an acute angle. So we need the 60 degrees that will give us that. Or using the zero degrees from the baseline, the arm of our angle goes through the zero degrees on the inside track of numbers. This tells us to use the inside numbers. However, we want to think about it, it's going to be this 60 degrees right here. So we need to make a small mark at 60 degrees. We will use this to make our angle. And now our correct measurement is marked. Lastly, step four, we need to draw our second arm of the angle. What we need to do is pick up our protractor and use a straight edge to connect our dot on the end of the first arm. It's where we lined up the center point of the protractor to the dot that we made at 60 degrees. Simply put, we connect our dots. So we can line our straight edge up like this. Then we need to draw the arm. So we go from the end of the arm where we had the center point to the mark we made at 60 degrees. And that's it. That's the second arm of our angle. So let's take away the protractor and see what we have. Now we have our angle and we can draw arrows on the arms and then label the angle as well if we would like. So we are done with our angle but it doesn't hurt to double check. So let's line up our protractor and make sure this is 60 degrees. So our protractor is lined up and it looks like we are good to go. We have a 60 degree angle. Let's move on to number two. Taking a look at number two, we need to draw a 110 degree angle. First step, draw the first arm of the angle using a straight edge. So a nice and straight line here. And I'm going to put a small mark, a small dot on one end to show where our vertex will be. For this example, let's put the dot on the right side. Remember, this can be on either end of the line. We can make the angle either way. And that's our first arm of our angle. Next, our second step, we need to line our protractor up. The center point needs to be on the end of the arm where we made that dot, and then the baseline needs to be lined up with the arm. So here is our protractor lined up. We have our center point on one end of the arm, so I'm putting it right on that dot I made. Then we need the baseline of the protractor lined up on the arm. So now our protractor is lined up, and we need to mark the correct measurement. 
For this example, we need 110 degrees. Now there are two 110 degrees on the protractor. So which one do we use? Well, 110 degrees is an obtuse angle. So we need the 110 degrees that will give us that. So we can think through it that way. Or using the zero degrees from the baseline, the arm of the angle lined up with the baseline goes through the zero degrees on the outside track of numbers. This tells us to use the outside numbers. However we want to think about it, it's going to be this 110 degrees right here. So we need to make a small mark at 110 degrees that we will use to make our angle. So here's our small mark. And that's it for step three. Lastly, step four, we need to draw our second arm of the angle. So we need to pick up our protractor and use a straight edge to connect our marks, our dots. The dot on the end of the first arm, where the center point is right now, to the dot at 110 degrees. So we can line it up like this. Then we need to draw the arm. So we go from the end of the arm where the center point was to the mark we made at 110 degrees. And that's it. That's the second arm of our angle. So let's take away the protractor now and see what we have. And here's our angle. And we can draw arrows on the arms and label the angle as well. And we are done with our angle. But let's double check to make sure we have a 110 degree angle here. So let's line our protractor back up. So our protractor is lined up and it looks like we are good to go. We have a 110 degree angle. Let's move on to number three. For number three, we need to draw a 145 degree angle. Let's start by drawing the first arm here. And let's put a dot on the left side. That's where the vertex will be. Next, let's line the protractor up. So now we have our protractor lined up. The center point is on the dot and then the baseline is on the arm. Our protractor is lined up, so now we need to mark the correct measurement. Well, 145 degrees is obtuse. Or we know that we need to take a look at the inside numbers based on the zero degrees that the arm goes through right here. 140 degrees is right here and 150 degrees is right here. So 145 degrees is right in between. So let's put our mark, our dot, right outside of the protractor. We have the correct measurement marked. Now let's draw the second arm. We can pick the protractor up and connect the dots. Now we have our straight edge lined up and we can connect the dots to make the second arm. And we have our angle. Let's take the protractor away and now we can draw our arrows and label the angle. So there's our 145 degree angle. Let's line our protractor up and double check though. And it looks like we are good to go. We have a 145 degree angle. So there you have it. There's how to draw angles using a protractor. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.